This is huge. Do you want to add actions to your GPTs? Do you want to add functions to your GPTs? Do you want to make your GPTs more efficient by integrating that with your API? That's exactly what we are going to see today. Let's get started. Hi everyone, I'm really excited to show you about GPT's actions. I'm going to take you through step-by-step -step guide on how to set this up for your own GPT. So you can take advantage of any API. Even you can integrate your own software or own API into GPT's. Before that, I regularly create videos in regards to AI in my YouTube channel. So if you haven't subscribed, do subscribe and stay tuned. Coming to the GPT's interface, I've already covered the beginner's guide on how to set this up. I've linked that in the description below. Now we are going to edit this and add actions. Let's go at the top and click the name of your GPT. In my case, it's Mervin Prison. Then I'm going to edit GPT. Click that. Now you are in the edit interface. Here, you can click the configure button. In the configure page, you should be able to see all your settings which we have set up in our previous beginners tutorial. Here, we are going to add actions. Just click the add actions button on the configure page. Now you will be provided with the interface where you can add your open API schema. I'm going to take you through the list of elements required in the JSON structure open API schema. Here is the schema. First, you need to provide the open API, then just the general information, the title of the API you're integrating, the description of the API you're integrating and the version number. In my case, it's get weather data and the description is it retrieves current weather data. Then we are providing the service with the URL. After that, we are providing the endpoint. In my case, the endpoint will be slash and the location. So if it is London, slash London is my endpoint. So I mentioned the location as a variable in flower brackets. After that, this is a get function. We will learn more about get and posting in more advanced tutorial. In this case, I'm just getting with a description, get weather information and with the list of parameters. Here I'm providing the location because you are, you are going to send a location and going to retrieve the weather information. This is the only required parameter, which is the location. And here I want to show you, there are a few types of response. One is 200, another one is 404. 200 is when the API is able to successfully process the data. 404 is the response if the API fails to respond properly or if the endpoint doesn't exist. So imagine you pass slash London to your endpoint. That means it will be a successful response because it is a location. But if you type slash something else other than a location, then the API won't respond. At that time, it will respond saying location not found and the error code is 404 not found. And then finally, you are mentioning components and the schema. So this is the basic structure for a open API schema. I'm going to copy this whole structure and I'm going to paste it in the schema box. I've pasted it now. Now I can see uh, the below options got updated. Get current weather and get, and you can see the location is a variable. Here you can see the operation ID is get current weather. That is the thing which you can see in available actions. So here the authentication method is none because I haven't added any authentication. And finally, you're going to provide your privacy policy URL, HTTPS WTTR.in. Now this is all done. Now I'm going to click update and then click the confirm button to update the GPT. Now you can view the GPT by clicking the URL. Now I'm going to ask question, what is the weather in London and click enter. Now you can see the response. Some info will be sent to WTTR.in. Only do this for sites you trust. I'm going to allow access talking to WTTR.in. Now I got the response. The current weather in London is partly cloudy with temperature of 48 degree Fahrenheit. That's it. As simple as that. You are able to add your own API into your GPT and make your GPT more powerful. I'm going to add my own GPT in the description below so you can test it. I will also be creating more videos in regards to GPTs, how to add authentication, how to add API keys, how to add OAuth and how to make your GPTs more capable of doing various tasks. So stay tuned. I hope you like this video. Do like, share and subscribe and thanks for watching.